uh, you know, some people don't like the idea of presenting God as though he is powerless. They don't like that idea. They want us to present that God is the one killing everybody. You can't dare God. You can't try him. If you try God, you will see his other side. They feel good when they speak like that because for man, authority is muscles. But for God, power is weakness. That's the difference. For example, if you understand Christ crucified, that's powerless. How will you say you came to save the world and rid it of evil and wickedness? Then you submit yourself to the hands of evil people for them to do what they want to do with you. And they kill you. They carried you helplessly like a goat to the slaughter and you could do nothing. You couldn't even defend yourself from a slap. Even the weakest among them slapped you and you couldn't stop his hand. And then you say you are all powerful. It makes no sense. But that is the wisdom of God which to us is power. Am I communicating here? To the world is weakness, but to us is the power of God. So this powerlessness to man is foolishness. But that's the power of God. That's the power of God. You know, God is not actually doing anything in his power. Like forgiveness is his power. In forgiveness, you do nothing. <sighs> in forgiveness, you do nothing. You only let go. That's why when people say, you know the power of God, I say to them, regulate it. The power of God I know is regulated. Is the power of God unto salvation. Regulated. It's not just power. Mm -mm. It's power that is regulated to an intent. And the intent is obvious. Salvation. So we see God's power within the framework of salvation. Outside salvation, you won't see the power of God. You won't see God's power outside salvation. He's not proving a point. He's not proving a point. God doesn't have to prove a point to those he created. <laughs> How many of you want to prove a point to the, to the clay you molded a pot out of? Then you stand before the clay and say, see my muscles? See my muscles? I think you need a psychiatric hospital. God doesn't have to prove anything to anybody. So that is why God's power is channeled within the conduit of his love, which the intent is to save. God's power is to save. The gospel is the power of God unto what? Salvation. Salvation. Not just power, but power to save. So that's why when we started with the wisdom of God, we took time to look at this aspect because this is very, very fundamental if you are really going to enjoy your relationship and your work with God and if you are going to understand God's character so well that you can with your two eyes open predict his next step. Because you must know God that much that you can predict that that is God. That is not God. This is what God will do. This is what God will not. That is the level of knowledge. And that knowledge of God can only be revealed within the elements of his character. If you don't know his character, you don't know him. So, in the wisdom of God, after searching through the scriptures, we concluded that the wisdom of God is the love of God.